<laughs> bro, hearing those, you know, it's funny hearing those, hearing those sound effects. It's just, I, I <laughs> it's like actually having him here. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so he's trying to use that. And what were you saying earlier about how many, how many, uh, about fact checker many- Joe, 24 people per 100,000 in Mississippi die in auto related accidents, the highest in the nation. There you go. 24%, 24, wait, 24. Well, he's people- like, why is Sessions even bringing it up? Because he wants to stop legalization of marijuana. That's his big thing. Bro, when he first got in, you don't remember when he first got in, that was one of his biggest things was that, oh, Cartels are bringing in marijuana. Yeah, I was so like, no, nah, cartels aren't bringing in marijuana because marijuana doesn't sell for a cartel. You know what sells for a freaking cartel? So you can run and tell that car- cocaine so sells for a cartel. Car- like, uh, what? What? Where'd that come from? That's because, man, they gotta, hey, gotta be able to be able to lock everybody up. Yeah, bro. I mean, they look. Hey, how else is the private prison system gonna work? With nobody, to, with lock nobody up. to lock up, bro. You got to keep that weed. Not, you gotta keep- not everybody's dealing because, heroin, bro. Exactly. <laughs> nobody, really, nobody's dealing heroin. And you see, bro. Tell me, you saw what happened with uh, with with uh, <laughs> what they said with El Chapo about using his money. Oh no, I didn't hear about that. Oh my god, about using. They're talking about taking. Remember, El Chapo was worth like fourteen billion. Yeah. So they said they were gonna. Since he's been arrested, they're gonna take his assets, use that fourteen billion, and start building the wall. Ah. <sighs> You are so how, dumb. You how are legal really is dumb, that? For real. <laughs> I mean, I mean, is that legal? Is is that is that what they're doing? Yeah. Like, I get he's a drug kingpin, and now so you have. Do you just take all that money and say, "Hey, look, we're gonna build a wall with it now"? Like, I don't, I don't see how that works. I don't know. The whole that. I mean, I mean, think. I mean, dude. <laughs> Didn't he get that? caught in Mexico? Yeah. So how is how we is he even use, here? I, I can see if we caught him here, bro. How is so? So shouldn't that money technically belong to Mexico? Yeah, it does belong to Mexico. That's where he's at. So, so how the hell? So we how are we gonna get <laughs> his? Mo- he's reaching. He's reaching. So well, you got the money. Yeah, we got the money. We got the money to start the wall. So We're gonna dumb. use El Chop, bro. I can't hear no more. It's only been 100 days. As a matter of fact, it hasn't even been 100 days. He's still got the rest of today. So God only knows what will happen in the next hours. He's got three hours left before literally he hits his 100th day. So I don't know what could pass. I know there's executive orders everywhere. Every time I look up. Is there an executive order for getting the, El Chapo's money? Probably. I would doubt it. We're going to expedite all of his money over here. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know, man. I, when I heard that, I was just like, wow, really? We're just going to, st- that's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start locking up drug kingpins so we can build the wall because we're not going to pay for it. The taxpayers don't want to pay okay, for so it. So, wait, who has El Chapo? We do? I think we, I think we do. I, I think, think Joe says we do. I think we do. I think we, we, he the, was, Joe is pretty good with his facts. He, I think he was expedited here. A brother Latino, and he just said that El Chapo is free again. So, so wait take, a second. So how does that work? Hide your kids, See? hide your wife. That's the, that's the thing. I have, to look in, I have to look into that, man. Because when I heard that, because they they said that when he was in custody. That's interesting. So if he's been deported, because the thing is, is he could have been extradited out of the country. So if he's been extradited or deported out of the country, then technically that money is still his. I'm so lost in the whole situation. Bro, that shit doesn't make any sense. It's like, dude, what if we, st- bro, if we, what if we start building a wall with his money he fucking gets out and he's like, hey, where's my money? And finds out we used it to build a wall. That's going to be funny. That's going to be hilarious, dude. That's going to be funny. But you know what, man? The whole situation's funny. So now I want to do something that uh, that I like to do because I like to hear some of Serge's thoughts because Serge makes me laugh. Ugh. <laughs> so what I like to call this is tweets from the top. Hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide And what I'm going to do they- is I'm going to read five Trump tweets, and I just want you to give me your thoughts on them. All right, let's go. All right, first tweet. I'm trying to do bad things. <laughs> North Korea disrespected the wishes of China and its highly respected president when it launched. Oh, wait, hold on. 
But Joe says Guzman, the leader of the Sinaloa, Sinaloa cartel, world biggest narcotics cartel, was extradited to the U.S. in January. He is currently awaiting trial on 17 criminal charges in a maximum security jail in Manhattan. How See? the hell? Why are we charging him? Here's the thing. You know why we're doing that? Because, oh, he, he because they're worth drugs. money. Think wow. about it. Think about it. Remember what I just remember what I said about remember what I said about wow. Aaron. Remember what I said about Aaron Hernandez. So if we find him guilty, we get his shit. We get his shit. We get his fourteen billion. Another bro. Thanks, Joe. How Round many, of applause for you. Now sir. we're going through kingpins. We're about to start, bro. The milk. They're gonna start just getting just locking kingpins, kingpins up, bringing them to the United States. All of a sudden, taking bro, all their ass. All of a sudden, there's gonna be a wall. On the South America, on the freaking, uh, on the Texas border. And we're going to be like, how'd that get there? It's all drug money. It's all funded by drug money. Yeah. This is going to be hilarious. All right, man. So back to my tweets. Okay, let's go. All right. So first tweet, North Korea disrespected the wishes of China and it's highly respected president when it launched though unsuccessfully a missile today. Bad. I love um, how he. I love how he ends his tweets. Yeah, he always, <laughs> he always ends it with one word. Yeah, bad, bad, bad guy. Fantastic, tremendous. Ah, oh, jeez. It, uh, it sounds like he's trying to egg on. He's like that guy that starts the fight between the two kids. Yeah, he's like, yo, you, you, you ain't just gonna let talk about your mama. You ain't just really gonna let North Korea fire off missiles in front of you, are you? Yeah, I mean, bro, you're, you're right there. You're way bigger than he is. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Yeah, for real. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm just saying, bro. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna I mean, you. I'm just saying he's firing off missiles in front of you, and, and, you and that's gonna, that's bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> nice. I like, I like that interpretation. All right, let's see. Next one. We are making tremendous progress with the VA. There has never been so much done so quickly, and we have just started. We love our vets. Uh, (laughs) They just say that we're cutting shit for the VA. I'm very patriotic. I know the vets still aren't getting care. No. (laughs) But it's a tremendous fact that I can sign all this this paperwork (laughs) in such a short period of time. The pen is mightier than the sword, especially in my hands. It is absolutely tremendous. The pen is tremendous. All right, next tweet. Here we go. Let's let's get into the nitty gritty. As family as families prepare for summer vacations in our national parks, Democrats threaten to close them and shut down the government. Terrible. Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. I was reading the chat. As families prepare for summer vacations in our national parks, Democrats threaten to close them and shut down the government. That's the thing. Though, wait, didn't he just like pull funding from the national parks? For the EPA. <laughs> Bro, he's like, essentially what he's saying is they're going to shut down because they don't have money, but I'm taking money away from that. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. Ugh. Blame the Democrats. Let's blame the people. Sh- oh, God. Blame the Democrats, bro. Oh, man. I, I love it, bro. Because it's funny because it's like he does one thing and tweets another. It's like he's tweeting as somebody else. Like he's not doing it. Like he he's he wakes up, tweets something, and then go does does the complete opposite of what he yeah, tweeted. It's incredible. He's like he's like he's trying to pass the blame on. All right. We got two more. Democrats <laughs> Wow, it just starts off like that. Democrats used to support border security. Now they want illegals to pour through our borders. He didn't end it with a terrible or a bad nothing. Uh it's just basically saying that we didn't care about the border either. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care about the border last year either. No, no, nobody. But since I'm a word power now, they don't care about the border. Exactly. Nobody gave a damn about the border until I showed up. Until I showed up. And then once I showed up, now we start talking about the border. All right, dude, last one. You are so <sighs> dumb. You are really dumb. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see here. What's more important, rebuilding our military or bailing out insurance companies? Ask the Democrats. Ooh, so apparently he's saying rebuilding the military is better. So here's the thing. But he's saying bailing out the insurance companies is what Democrats did. Why is it always just the Democrats? Like, just... And it's funny because... Like, everybody else didn't vote on that? Like, it was just the Democrats that voted on that? Yeah, it's all the Democrats' fault. But here's the thing, is the Republicans have all three houses. Exactly. So how is it that it's just the Democrats' fault? I mean, I get it, but come on. It, you have the majority everywhere. These are facts. 
How is it that it's their fault? That's what that's the part. See, that's the shit that bogs down government. That's what it is. It's that well, I would have done it, but you know, yeah. he said do it. So I'm not gonna do it now because he said do it. That's bro, that is so uh, Yeah. That's the only thing you can say to that, bro. Is, you are uh, so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Oh man, so now just go into some regular just go into some regular stuff. See what see what's going on around uh, you know, around the world, man. Social social updates. You wanna do anything trending on Twitter? Uh or on Facebook. I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah. I mean there's gotta be there's gotta be something, man. There's something there's gotta be something that everybody's talking about. Oh, 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 almost forgot. The Simpsons. Tell me the Simpsons trailer. Tell me you have seen that. No, I have not seen that. Oh my gosh, bro. The Simpsons have basically taken political license. Sean Spicer, the press secretary, has been hung in the episode. Wow. Yeah, bro. Except I guess since it's since it's a cartoon, nobody's going to say anything. But he hung himself in the press briefing room with a sign that said I quit. That's f- that's hilarious. <laughs> you can say it, bro. It's pretty fucking you hilarious. You can say it. That's hilarious, bro. It's like, I quit life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because, you know, Sean Spicer, bro, Sean Spicer's been, they ha- he has been going through it, bro. He is literally, every time he says something, five minutes later, it's just disproven. His last thing, remember I told, this is, this is something that I don't know if a lot of people know, or if you haven't been paying attention to it, he tried to blame Mike Flynn on Barack Obama. He's like, oh, you, Barack put him in. Yeah. He said, hey, they cleared him. He's like, they a year ago, they said Mike Mike, uh, Mike Flynn's credentials were cleared a year ago. So basically, it happened under the Obama administration. Mike Flynn wasn't somebody that Trump put here. I, and I'm sitting there thinking, he was on your campaign trail. Bro, he was working on your campaign. How did nobody decide to, hey, let's check this guy? He's the head of national security. Yeah. Maybe we ought to check and see, you know, if his credentials are good or, you know, what's going on. And they're like, no, no, that's okay. Because if something, here's the thing. This is, I bet, what happened. Somebody said, if something goes wrong, we can just blame Obama. Pretty much, man. Because we didn't check him out. Obama checked him out. The The Obama administration said he's good. So if he's dirty, then we don't have anything to do with it. So now everybody asks the same question. Hey, didn't you guys pay any attention to this guy? Nobody paid any attention? Nothing? It's crazy, dude. I I, I don't understand that at all, man. Yeah, the whole thing is just... Ah. Exactly. It's so frustrating. It's, it's one of the hardest things about talking about Yeah, because it sucks because it's like, I don't want to seem like we're railing on Trump every fucking time, but damn, bro. Yeah, but he... Like you said before, man, he keeps giving you the ammo. I'm like, waiting for him to do. I'm man, waiting for him to bro. do something good. I'm so waiting for him to do something good. Like, you know how you know how it's like it's like a car accident just happened, and you're just hoping somebody crawls out of the fire. Like that's that's did I? I think I just compared Donald Trump's president to a car accident. Yeah. But either way, eventually somebody's gonna crawl out of the fire. And we're gonna be like, thank goodness somebody's alive. Because that's pretty much what's gonna happen. So you got anything, man? Do we go through? Do you go through Facebook? Uh, yeah. I mean, the only thing I saw is New Orleans is removing all Confederate, all the Confederate memorials stuff. and flags. Oh well, yeah. They so need, they want to give. I mean, they're finally. They're finally. Take, they're probably taking. They're finally taking the L. They're finally catching. They're accepting. They're, fi- they're finally catching. They're accepting that whole Civil War loss. Yeah. Thing. What? What has it been? A hundred. A hundred twenty. What has it been? Like two hundred something years. Shit. I don't know. What? Eighteen sixty. <laughs> it, it's been like eighteen sixty some. So uh, it's like a hundred and a hundred and fifty years. It's been like a hundred fifty years, and they finally got it. They're yeah. Like, they're like, hey, you know what? We're, We're not going to stand for this anymore. We lost. So, so it makes me wonder, bro. When does that big when does that big Confederate flag over off I four come down? No, that was this is in New Orleans. Yeah, I know, but I'm See, saying though, the one in so Florida, it's not, so it's not world. It's, it's not, privately owned. It's a privately owned. It's lot. the it's the it's the yard, right? Yeah, it's the guy's yard, so he can do whatever the hell he wants, including flying a, f- yeah. a Confederate flag as, bo- as big as a football field. Yeah, that's is that what we America. Is that, is that is that what we're living in the South is still doing that land of free, bro, land of the free, home of the slave. <laughs> Oops. 
That's what it is, bro. I mean, seriously, seriously, bro. And and that term doesn't just apply to black people. That I like that one. That term applies to pretty much everybody who's not in a position of power in America. I mean,